I'm back again. This is uh, week one of uh, Buddha, that's me, and my spicy diet journey. Hey, that's a stupid name I came up with. Uh, anyway, uh, let me tell you about a little bit about first week. Uh, relatively easy. Uh, I may have had too much fruit on Saturday. Uh, I went to IHOP. Uh, I, I'm too lazy to make my own omelets, but I wanted an omelet. And I'm going low carb, so I am focused on uh, more chicken and fish. Uh, although I haven't had any fish this week because I'm not a big fish fan, but I will work it into my diet. I'm having a concentration on chicken, more veggies, a little bit of fruit, but not too much. Uh, while I was at the diner, they said, oh, we'll give you a stack of pancakes for the omelet. And I'm like, no. Uh, I have a fruit. So they, they gave me some honeydew, one grape, and uh, some pineapple. In fact, the pineapple is a little too sweet. Don't really want to go that sweet, although it's natural. Uh, at least in the first two weeks, first two weeks, being on a low carb diet and having experience on it, first two weeks you want to go as low carb as you can. Now it's a little hard to go low carb, but I noticed, and I noticed that yesterday, uh, that my vitamins, here, I was having these gummy vitamins, you know, uh, the award winning 2012 best vitamins there are for adults. Um, so I've been having these, and these had. Um, Three carbs per two gummies is what you call for every day. So having three carbs there, that's not a big deal. Three carbs is not much. But when I have to have fiber, and I'm also having fiber gummies as well, and they're six carbs, that's nine carbs right there. Plus, I have to have uh, calcium D, vitamin D3. Uh, it's got to be calcium citrate as part of my diet. When I had my stomach surgery, one of the requirements was to have was to have some D3 in my diet. So this is one of the things I have to have, calcium citrate. Uh, there's calcium carbonate out there, but it's not the same thing. But these vitamins uh, I was eating, eating, and they were very, very delicious, I might add, were uh, filled with corn syrup and sugars, and they were at seven carbs each. And I had to have two a day, and it's 14 carbs before the day even gets going on just those. And then you add in the gummies over here, three more, and then six more of the fiber, which I have to have. It was just too much. So, cut out the vitamins, there's no more gummies. There's no more of the um, calcium uh, citrate. Uh, I've got regular pills for those, I'm giving up the gummies. They're delicious, but it's defeating the purpose of my diet. I can always go back to them later, but for right now, no gummies of that. So I'm just having the fiber gummies, and that's it on the diet end. Now, as for the fruit angle, as I was saying, was too much fruit on that one day, because I've been having grapes every day, uh, like a snack for me, uh, little seedless red ones I like. Uh, not having too many, but just enough, you know, kind of get me that little sweetness I'm looking for. I also make my own whipped cream just a little bit every day, and I add some uh, sugar free. Um, you know, Splenda syrups in there, uh, and give it a little flavor, cinnamon, black cherry, raspberry, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's artificial, I'm sure that's not good for me, but so is being overweight. So, what are the benefits of the two evils? If I'm going to survive this diet, I'm going to have artificial sweeteners in my, in my foods, and that's just the way I'm going to do it. Like it or leave it, that's the way I'm running this uh, diet, spicy diet. Now, spicy diet is I've been having a lot of different hot sauces. And since I have, like I've showed you in the first video, a lot of hot sauces, uh, I've been throwing as much as in my, uh, I, I sprinkle in some spicy powders uh, that I have in the house. Um, there was a bunch of heat ones. Uh, I know I had volcanic peppers a little bit. I used a little bit of their garlic and onion, which is really, really good. A little strong, but very, very tasty. And I've added that into my diet. Salads, you know, spiking up the sal salad a little bit that I have with some chicken. Um, I've had uh, salmon olivers. Uh, they're like cayenne based hot sauce. Uh, I've had uh, bonitos, uh, cayenne hot sauce. I forgot old. Old Koi Dog, I'm really, really digging that one. Rocky's has the original hot sauce, I really like that one. And now, the best part about this is most wing sauces, not all of them, are pretty low carb. And so, I'm having wings. I'm, I'm cooking them right now. Uh, I'm going to have that for dinner tonight. 
And uh, so eating wings, hey, that's a chili head's dream, right? Having that part of your diet. So I'm definitely having a little bit of that. Um, and so uh, I'm having a lot of hot sauces. Uh, and this one, I, I think I'm one of my choosing here today. I'm going with uh, Chad's one, uh, 18 octane uh, wing sauce. So I'm trying this one. I've had it before. It's really good. Very, very spicy, but pretty good. Uh, Devcons, you know, uh, Cluck Wing Orange hot sauce. A few others I've kind of polished off. I had, I made a, a, a dip with sour cream and mayo, again, low carb, uh, with some chicken, some artichokes. Uh, some cheese, and I added uh, the re remainder of my bottle of Lucky Dogs uh, Medium uh, Red Label. Really, really delicious in the dip. Uh, I, instead of using crackers, I'm using sliced cucumbers in my dip. Uh, I used some of um, the Fluffy Bunny hot sauce in it with some, a little bit of butter on some broccoli. Uh, really, really dug the garlic. Uh, Basically, you really have to brush your teeth after you have that fluffy bunny. I'll tell you, it's really gawky, but having it with the broccoli, really good. Again, butter, low carb. Not Maybe not the best thing fat-wise, because people out there are like, I don't believe in a low-carb diet. I've done it before. I lost a lot of weight in it, and I maintained it for three and a half years. Uh, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a big steak eater, so I'm not going to have steak. Just, just not. So that red beef part of it, out. Uh, I like hamburgers, but I can always have a turkey burger. So I'll, I'll look at that chicken. If I make chili, uh, I'll incorporate some salsa into the chili. And I'll use turkey, you know, uh, ground beef, uh, ground turkey instead of ground beef. So that's the way the diet's going for me this week. Now, I'm not weighing myself. I, I didn't want to weigh myself. So I'm going by my belt size. I've gone down one hole in my belt since I began the diet. So that's a positive, right? I'm, I'm already losing. The belt was pretty tight before. It's, it's a little snug at, at, at the second belt hole. And I was down at one hole in the belt. So I was at Desperate Ends, ready to go to Walmart and buy me a new cheap belt. Uh, but now I don't have, have to because I'm doing the diet. So I'm hoping to work down the... I hope to tell you every single week I'm down another hole. But I doubt that's going to happen. It's going to be plateauing and stuff. So that's it for, for now. Uh, I've, I've done okay with this week. Um, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of Atkins drinks for, you know, substitute that for food. Uh, uh, they have like a little shake thing I can have for breakfast every morning. Uh, i got bars, snacks, or whatever. I'll, I'm not going to overdo those. I just want to have them once in a while. When I go to, uh, if I'm late for work, I just grab one of the drinks and bring it with me and I'll have it for breakfast. Come home, try to have salads more often. Some salads, a little bit of chicken. I buy the whole bird, you know, from Costco. Again, bachelor's meal. I buy the whole, I love Costco's chicken, uh, get that up, slice it up, and I have it for the entire week as I did last week. I broke that bird up every single day. I added it to the dips. I added it to my salads. I had it plain. I threw some sauces on it and cooked that sauce into it in the microwave or the oven or whatever I decided to do. So that's it for the diet so far. Week one, I've lost a little bit. I don't know if I've lost too much. I can also go by my watch and see how many holes really didn't think about that until now because it feels a little bit loose so maybe I've lost wrist weight first week who knows lost two pounds five whatever it might be the pounds don't really make a difference it's just in my comfort zone my comfort zone is losing weight here he, up here my arms my wrist my, my fat head whatever I can do all right I have talked enough week one's over with uh, I hope I've inspired, it seems like maybe I've inspired other people to die, and I hope I can continue to inspire others to join me in this little journey of mine. Spicy journey, spicy diet journey, whatever stupid name I came up with. Well, that's it. This is Buddha. Have a lovely day, everybody. Buddha out. Bye.